Welcome back awesome youtubers. This is part 42 We're back at the city and let's see if we can find mr. Brante's house There's my horse So it seems We should go here Dutch van der Lind. Okay I think Dutch is right about here Let's find Dutch in this garden. There he is. Angela Brunt, the man of honor. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. That's a big house right there. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. What in the hell, Long Dutch? Now, boy. That was not good. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Yeah. <laughs> I got this. That was not good. Oh, take it away. What are you doing? Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Take away the gun, Arthur. <laughs> take away the gun. What are you doing? <laughs> ah, it's the pasta guy. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, <laughs> and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? <laughs> you ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now... We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bront. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marshall. What the hell? All mine, please. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? 
A couple of people have taken to grave robing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Well, this should be interesting. Mount your horse. What? What? Let's go and see what's this all about. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Yeah, let's hitch them right doing? here. Let's leave the horses here. That's what I'm gonna do, John. Follow John. This should be interesting. This way. Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Hey. There he was, someone. There's some, there's some creepy place. Locate the source of disturbance. Ah, here's the dog. Hey there, boy. Let's keep looking. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Yeah. yeah what was that? I'll go first. You stick close. Shh, 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 shh. Wait. Stop. Hold on. What is this? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. A friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. All right. Oh, what is that? Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? There's something here. Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. Get in cover. I hear something in there. Let's go in. You boys found my pappy's watching. Whoa. What the hell? Damn it. How many you see? Three, four, hard to tell. You should have paid Mr. Brown. Bastards are trying to draw us out. Can't see where the damn. We should have picked the right guy. Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up? No doubt. Where are they? I 
Just run away. Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Okay, it seems like. Let's go and find those stash. There might be something in here. There it is. Got it. Nice Good. one. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Oh crap. Let's go. Maybe we can get out there. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Uh -oh. Damn it. Follow John. Let's go around the side. That's not good. John, follow me. Return to Bronte's Manor. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> oh. And us, just simple country boys. 
Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Follow right. Dutch. Let's get this boy back to his mother. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. That's nice clothes on him, too. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> We got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Maybe thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. It's okay. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. <clears throat> All right, if you like this mission, guys, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you on the next episode. Have a nice day. Toodaloo.